Alright YouTubers, how you diddling? This is the Disposalist and in this video I'll be showing you a walkthrough of the Escalation Easter Egg in Albion. Just to be clear, not like my previous videos, I had no hand at all in solving this Easter Egg. It's utterly down to the excellent folks at the Battlefield Easter Egg community. To be honest, I hadn't really even been following it and it was only when Danny on PC tweeted me this morning that I knew it had been solved. So I'm just going to show you the fun we had this morning, but all I was doing was following the instructions you can find at the BFEE Discord. So first up is to interact with the metal crates found at the antenna between the D and E flags on Albion. It's the metal plates on the end of these boxes that are interactive and you just need to click each one once. There are nine. Next you travel down the nearby hill to the house with the two blue doors. Inside there's a chest of drawers which when destroyed reveals a handle hidden behind. Now this lever has a skull above it and you'll be wanting to interact with that once. Now you return to those metal crates and interact with each one one more time each and then travel back to the house and pull that lever four times. Interact with it four times. Once done you'll find the radio tower is now emitting an audible Morse signal so if you go back lie down next to it you should be able to get a pretty good recording of that Morse. The Morse code you're looking for is only five letters. The signal here repeats four times, then pauses and repeats again and again. There is some background noise on this map though, so you might want to take quite a few seconds of recorded audio in order to make sure you get all the letters clearly. The method I've developed to make Morse code translation a little easier is to drag the video recorded file into a sound processing application like Audacity and then to isolate the frequency of the Morse code signal. And with a little fiddling what you end up with is a very clear visual dot dash sequence which you can then go and translate in one of many online Morse code translation websites. If that all proves a little too tricky, then you will often find that the very fine members of the Battlefield Easter Egg community will help you out if you visit their Discord and ask for help there. Armed with your personal five letter Morse code sequence, you can now move on to the nearby lighthouse for the next stage. Now within the lighthouse there are six levers similar to the one in the blue doored house near the radio mast. These levers though need to be activated and this is done by destroying the hanging lanterns in the six nearby houses. The final stage of the Easter Egg is to pull those levers in a sequence corresponding to one worked out by the Battlefield Easter Egg community with your personal sequence pushed into the middle of them. So that sequence is C A E E B, then your personal Morse, mine was A D A E B, followed by F E A A D D A. D. Once you have scampered around the lighthouse pulling those levers in the correct order you can rush up to the very top and next to the main light is a small vertical cylindrical light which should now be interactive. If it's not interactive then I'm afraid you got something wrong. Either the Morse code you determined was incorrect or you pulled the wrong lever in that sequence. You can wait 30 seconds or so and retry the lever sequence but if your Morse code is wrong it's never going to work. 
if everything did go right, you can click that light and the smoke monster appears to tell you you are now the proud owner of a new M1917 light machine gun skin called the Escalation. Now, as I said earlier, if you have any problems with this easter egg, you really are best off going to the Battlefield easter egg discord community and asking for help there. They're a great bunch. I might even be there to help myself. Congratulations and much respect and admiration go out to the Battlefield easter egg community. Well done guys for solving this one and good luck with the next stage. There is more to do so go and get involved. So good luck with that everyone. I hope that was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. A thumbs down if you must. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.